set up a bench like this or you can use a squat rack or just anything that you can rest your hand on to support you whilst you're doing this exercise. You're going to take one foot back away from you, pushing it back and hinging at the hip. Then from here, you're going to return to stand. So it's a Romanian deadlift on one leg. So with the standing leg, you're going to keep your knee soft. We're not going to push the knee all the way back. You're going to keep your knee soft and you're going to push your hips as far back as possible. And with the other leg, trying to keep your hips stable. So we don't want to open the hip and rotate the hip. We want both hips to be staying down to the floor. So as you can see, I'm just playing around with dragging my foot on the floor as I hinge at the hips and I'm sending my other foot back. What we don't want to do is over stretch. So from here, you can see I have the flexibility to take my leg all the way up in the air but that's not actually putting the right amount of tension through my glutes and my hamstring. So you don't have to lift the leg stupidly high at the back. What we're focusing on is, for example, here in my left leg, that glute and that hamstring really getting a lot of tension as I stretch. Then I'm gonna change sides and I'm just here mentally trying to work out <laughs> which leg goes forward and which one doesn't. So just give me a second. Um, and from here, exactly the same, you're gonna self-support you. So, you know, here you can see I'm faffing around with setting myself up, that's okay. And then as you can see, so you can see here my left leg is going backwards. And what I'm trying to do is keep my left hip facing the floor. We don't wanna over rotate and twist. Then I'm really focusing on getting that stretch in my right hamstring, all right? And I'm just gonna show you a couple of reps which aren't self-supported. So if you feel like you can do this without the support, that's absolutely fine, you can do these um, unsupported if you want to.